Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad geometry problem and here we have a nice dry triangle in which the length of its one side is 89 and we are given that its one angle is right angle. So here uh, we use this less information and we find the parameter and area of this right triangle. So here the very first step we are going to do is here you know that the side opposite to this right angle is known as the hypotenuse. So this is our hypotenuse and if I can uh, write this is any other angle. So the side opposite to this angle is known as the perpendicular or, or altitude and the side we join these two angles is called the base of this right triangle. So here we call uh, our base is equals to small a and we call our hypotenuse is equals to small c and we call our perpendicular is equals to small b. So here we uh, just denote the side length by small a, b and c. And now uh, here we need to simplify uh, this uh, uh, equation and we find the parameter area in this triangle. So first we use the Pythagoras theorem and you know that the Pythagoras theorem is stated as hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square. So this is the uh, Pythagoras theorem and here we substitute the values of hypotenuse base and perpendicular. So uh, the value of our hypotenuse is C square and our base is A square and our perpendicular is A. 9 square our perpendicular is b square but our b equals to 89 square so here uh, we need to simplify the terms and here we first move this c square in the left hand side and it will be written as c square minus a square equals to 89 square and we know that 89 square is equals to 7921 so uh, here we focus in the left hand side and here we use the nice uh, square identity and we know that uh, c square minus a square is equals to c minus a times of c plus a is equals to 7921. So uh, here you focus in the left hand side and we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so now we make uh, uh, in the right hand side two factors so uh, we just write 7921 uh, is multiplied by one so if you multiply this uh, term by one so you again get 7921 and now we compare both of the sides uh, so uh, you see here uh, we have c minus a is equals to so uh, uh, before uh, comparing both sides here we find all the possibilities in which you get the product of two numbers is 7921. So our first possibility is this and our second possibility is 89 multiplied by 89 this will be also equals to 7921. So we have these two possibilities uh, and now we convert our given question into uh, two cases. So here first we compare our the left hand side with these cases and then we compare the left hand side with these cases. So here we have two cases. So first we write our case number one. So in case number one we compare C minus A here and we uh, after comparing we get C plus A equals to 7921 and C minus A is equals to one. And here we write our second case and in second case uh, we have C plus A equals to 89 and C minus A is also 89 because these both values are same. And now here we focus on these both cases and we uh, get the values of uh, A and C and after that we get the value of B but uh, we are given that we have given that the value of B is 89. So now we simplify these two uh, these two cases. So first we focus on case number two, and here we add these two equations. And when uh, you add these two equations, uh, then uh, you just uh, we just uh, first we subtract these two equations. Okay. Here we subtract these two equations. So, so when you subtract, we just change the signs. So you see that this is positive c and negative c are gone. 
and this is positive and negative are gone and we get here a plus a becomes two times of a equals to zero and here you get a equals to zero so uh, a equals to zero means that our base is zero because our we denote our base equals to a so if our base is zero in the right triangle it cannot be possible any side length of the triangle is zero so that we rejected this case and now we just proceed here the case number two so in second case here uh, we find the value of uh, a and c so now first we add these two equations so when we add these two equations so this positive and negative a are gone and we get here c plus t c becomes 2c and this will become 7922 and here we divide uh, both of the sides by 2 in this form and this 2 and 2 are gone and we get here c equals to so when we divide 7922 by 2 it will be equals to 3961 so this is the value of c and now uh, we use this value of c and we easily get the value of a so we put uh, this value of c in equation 2 so here we call this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 so we put this value of c in equation number 2 so this will become 3961 minus a equals to 1 so we move uh, here and you get 3961 minus 1 equals to a and this implies that the value of a is 3960 so this is the value of a and here we find uh, all the values of uh, a b and c so we just move towards the given question statement so this is our a and here we find our a and we know that the value of our a is so this a is equals to 3960 and the value of c is 300 3961 so here we find all three sides of the triangle so now we move towards to find our uh, final destination so we first find the parameter and we know that uh, the formula of parameter of the uh, triangle is that we just uh, sum up all the sides length of the triangle so here we have the parameter is a plus b plus c and the value of a is 3960 value of b is 89 the value of c is 3961 so when we sum up all these three values uh, then you easily get here 8010 units okay this is the parameter of the given right triangle and now uh, here we find the area and we know that the formula of area of the triangle is half times of base multiplied by its height and our height is perpendicular so our base is 3960 and perpendicular is 89 so here we uh, cancel these terms and this is cancelled by 1 6 8 and 0 and when we multiply 1 6 8 0 by 89 then finally you get the area of the given triangle is one seven six double two and zero so this is the area of the given triangle and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos